So, from the windows, look how those fit. That's supposed to meet and join together with a meeting rail. From the windows, we go to my Amazon order. 28 bucks at Walmart, 21 from Amazon. Trailer hitch connector for my Suburban. Satellite radio hooks directly to the antenna, $22. Bracket that I made for the trailer hitch for the Suburban. I think it's thick enough. Fuel pressure gauge for the Suburban, $12, made in China. Just put it in the fuel line if there's a rubber line to cut into. get the wheel alignment done on the weasel because they said it needed a caster kit to adjust the front control arms. Apparently from GM then is not a great enough adjustment. Well, for 20 bucks you get two cam bolts which they used in Corvairs way back in the 60s. So I've got a couple of those for one side. Let's see how it works. You turn it and the upper control arm goes in or out depending on where the cam is and the slots. Then, radiator pressure tester. I got two of these. Bought them at flea markets. The guys didn't realize what they were. Swap meets or flea markets or... I think it was a pawn shop. Got a Gates. I got a Stant. They both look really similar. I think they're both made by the same company. One's chrome and the one's... Got wrinkled black finish. I got some adapters here. The adapter for the Chevy is this one I just bought for 20 bucks. Now I need one for a BMW, so I bought this one for $50. Made in USA. That goes in there, and this screws onto the overflow bottle. 50 bucks. And then. The last thing I got, oh, here they packaged the whole thing with a couple of empty air pouches. At least they didn't use a box, freaking ten times the size of what was in here. And I've got the oil filter. I bought a man German oil filter for my BMW. And what's interesting is, aside from it being made in Mexico, it looks really well made with pleats crushed paper, nicely crushed in between. The pleats are nice and uniform. It's real light stuff in here, really. They call it a non-metallic filter. Man filter, made in Mexico. It was $6.50. Even the box is really thin. Made in Mexico. But what's interesting is here's a filter from a vacuum cleaner I found in a dumpster. <laughs> Almost the same thing. <laughs> yep. Filter from a vacuum cleaner or a filter for a BMW? I guess a filter is a filter. Just got some paper media. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. The K&N guys were at the Laconia bike swap meet. I wanted to ask them why everybody says their K&N filters are such junk. Might as well just use a roll of toilet paper. I don't know. Either they don't filter enough or they filter too much and get blocked. I don't believe it. I don't think K&N's making such a junk product. Same as you hear about the Fram filters. Frank is the biggest seller of filters in the world. And I read on Bob is the oil guy, I think. Some guy from Fram said our filters aren't as bad. We just got a bad reputation. It's not deserved. I don't know. It makes you think. Should you get a Canon filter for $10? Or should you get a Fram one at Walmart for $2.50? Or a Curator Classic or a Mobile One filter? So I'm going to see if I need this caster kit on the Suburban. I looked at it. It looks like it has a caster kit, but the guy had the wheel alignment stuff all set up. Took him an hour to install everything and get it all lined up. Then he says, oh, it needs a caster kit. You can't align it. So why would he say that if it didn't really need it? So this is all the stuff that was in this box. And they had one of these in there, not inflated, just sitting like that. Right like that. So it just shows that you can't get people to pack your stuff for $8 an hour and expect it to be properly packed. Should have had some bubble wrap or newspaper or shredded papers or something. How does this work? One more thing to show you. This 
stick that on top of the radiator. Crank up the pressure with this plunger, like a bicycle pump. Yeah, I don't use these things around. And crank up the pressure and see if you can blow up your radiator. And if it's leaking, it'll tell you where it's leaking from. The last thing I'm going to show you is this that I bought last year, based on the advice of Tow Wrecker. Pops into the side of a can of spray duster for your computer keyboard. It was 12 bucks, I think. It's cheap, 10, 12 bucks. And you can use air duster, the proper kind, to fill your air conditioning system up with R152A. So I need to know which air duster to buy. It replaces R12, not 134, R12. You can replace it with air duster. So, Toe Wrecker. Toe Wrecker has to tell me which one to use. Which air duster is the right stuff? Because it doesn't tell you on the back which is the replacement for R12. Mrs. CW is here with the painter. Four bedrooms and a spoke. Four bedrooms, huge kitchen, two full baths, both brand new. The poop in the toilet and the toilet running. We gotta pay for the water. And this is the living room. And there's the chimney, which is still in use. Original hardwood maple floor, long strip, no knots. Used to be a door here. When I took away the door, it was used to be a window before they put a door and I put it back to a window. Then we got the attic. Uh oh, guys were playing up here and they busted something. I bought the cheap. I bought the cheap ladder. And one of these bolts busted right off. So I gotta change this one. I never changed it. It looks like it's unscrewing, but I don't go up here anymore, so. Oh, nicely insulated. Whole building. With an old brick wall that's coming backwards. Yep, that brick wall is back by six inches. That much. Lots of good insulation up here. There's the old front of the building, or the back of the building. I'll show you. Oh, wonderful. Light just burned out. Nice. Spooky, huh? There's the old electrical entrance from a million years ago. wonder if these light bulbs work. Oh, I got a trouble lamp up here. I forgot about it. Oh, look at that. Lots of insulation. Bark on log construction. <laughs> Used to be a chimney here. And the chimney had a brick in it. Someone penciled in 1871. 1871 in the chimney that used to be there. I like the way that's wired. <laughs> and the roof. The roof is, I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you what the roof used to be on this building. Ha! Huh. Not doing too good with light bulbs, are we? They're talking on the news about drones, riding them all over cities. Be careful if you're growing marijuana hydroponically. What we got here? Walk through the old roof. 
And there's the old wooden roof from 150 years ago. Yeah, the old wooden roof. Some extra logs. And the chimney right in front of the window. Lots of insulation. Triple layer. Every piece runs 90 degrees to the piece below it. Get rid of the air gaps. The old stove pipe. Rusted. Yeah, this building speaks to a different era. The old chimney pipe. We bought this place in 94 or 95. And the last transaction on it was 1921. People owned it for 72 years. And this brick wall is moving backwards. <coughs> when these bricks are stacked up, it used to be underneath that 2 by sliding backwards. I know you can't see it, but it's going that way. The old electrical entrance. With a fuse right there. Original. And the chimney. Alright, I gotta go eat breakfast. Can't believe all the light bulbs are burned out here. Somebody must have been up here and left the lights on. The old wooden shingles. No ridge cap. Knob and tube wiring. Knob and cube. Nothing wrong with it. They used heavy gauge, 12 gauge wire, soldered connections, triple wrapped. Nothing wrong with knob and tube wiring. Nothing wrong at all. Just now I have a way to get in the attic. Just gotta change that bolt one day, huh? Got a lot of projects. Never ends. Yellowed smoke detector. Yellowed. All right. We know. All right, Mugs? Oh, yeah. I'll show you the insulation. Look at this. I made, made that. Kids were beaten on this beautiful old spindly handrail. Is that why they call it spindles? Because it's spindly? Original bracket, 19, 18, 17, 27 square nails. I know you guys in the UK have got stuff twice as old. This is what Muggs was up to. Nice, huh? Got his nose in the bag of insulation. I don't know why he would do that. Old. Real old. Thin walls. I opened up these walls in a different apartment and there was a little piece of wood in there, inch and a half thick, flat on one side, bark on the other. The trimming off of the edge of a log. That's what they made the walls out of. No problemo.